Build form out. Now this is what I'm going to be sending to the AI and I'm telling it that I'm getting started. So it's going to choose the correct prompt to mix with this topic. And I'm just going to use my email address twice. So I've opened the report. So currently I have it saying AI and Google model analysis report and it's got the date and timestamp and uh, here's what I put in and then here is the reply. So this is the getting started prompt generated this. The concept of how to manage this day to day is very simple. We go in here we're going to see the three prompts that I have programmed. And if you would like to change a prompt, you just open the document and change the prompt. That's it. You don't have to do anything else. The prompts are associated in the program with the drop down menu. You can have more than three, but for the demo, I've made three. If you test this out and you want to expand it, and have more than three prompts and you need help doing that, that's part of the support plan I'm offering for the first 30 days after the workshop. The control is what's known as the systems role. Now you may have seen this in prompts in chat GPT where people say you're an English teacher or you're an HR director. That's the control. Um, it's assigning the role to the AI. However, when you do it programmatically, there's no confusion between the prompt that is trying to deal with the question or the topic and the role of what type of identity the AI needs to have and what perspective it will answer the question from because they're separate in the program. You can clearly define it. So again, very easy to edit. If this is installed for humanities department, you can put humanities or whatever you, you can do it. 